So the first thing we're going to do with Tinkercad is just make some really quick circuits uh, for your first assignment. I just want you to make, I'm just going to drag a breadboard in. They can be any circuit you want. Um, I'm going to drag a battery right on here and make them all 9 volt. Uh, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about how this works. Um, so uh, we have a, a breadboard. Everything on this chain, see how they all light up? That's all the negative power strip. This is all the positive power strip. So anything on here is connected. These are all positive, these are all negative, and they, they are in line with each other. So like if I put a wire here and here, it's the same as putting a wire here and here. This bar is all connected, goes the same with the bottom. Then they come in rows, and you see how these rows are highlighted. That's everything that's connected in this row. Like there's a, basically a metal plate at the bottom. And if you stick in a wire here, it's gonna be connected to the wire that's in here, or component or whatever. Same here, there's a bridge in the middle. You can put things in the bridge. Uh, and then you got the base. So uh, what I want you guys to do is to make some circuits. There are three kinds of circuits I want you to make. Um, we're gonna start with an LED. I can drop it anywhere. Okay, so there's an LED. And uh, then we gotta wire it properly because if you do not, it will not work. So there's a long branch of the LED and the short branch of the LED. And if we hit start simulation, it, it explodes because it's too much. But um, if I switch the wires, it doesn't work because LEDs are directional. So like if I had run the negative wire, uh, that would not have worked if I had gone, like let's say, um, I don't even need to go from there. I can go from right here, negative wire to the cathode and then positive wire to this cathode. Uh, this time you'll see it does not work. Oh, well it does, it exploded. Made a liar out of me. because I, I didn't do it the way I wanted. I wanted the positive wire to go to the other cathode and the negative wire. And you see that time it doesn't light up because it is directional. So the positive needs to go uh, to the leg with the bend in it, the longer leg, as you can see right here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna set up this circuit. I'm actually gonna put this kind of out of the way over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my circuit on a positive branch right here. It's a wire, we can make it red. Uh, and I'm going to put a resistor in. If you hit R, it will rotate. I'm just gonna drop it in. So this end of the resistor is connected to the battery now, but this end is not. And I'm gonna go over here. Now I am connected to the resistor. And now from the resistor, I'm gonna get a black wire. Oh no, I want that to stay red, I want a new wire. Um, from the resistor, I'm just going to go over to make that black and then back up to my, my bar here. This is a series circuit. The electricity goes through one path, goes in here, over here, one path, boom. Start simulation. And you can see the light is dimmer. Okay, so that's one example. Next, next example. Uh, and we do not have to be... Uh, that fancy at all. Um, we can just take this resistor out here, put another resistor in, and we're going to go right down to, let's get rid of this. I'm going to go right up to the positive bar here. I'm going to change that red. Okay, so now we have a parallel circuit. We're coming in, so power is coming in on this side. These two are connected, so it's got like kind of two paths to flow through, and then power is coming out over here. So I'm going to start simulation, and you see the light gets brighter uh, because obviously in a parallel circuit, um, the amount of resistance going through the circuit here is lower uh, than it would have been in a series circuit because the total resistance of these two is lower than they would be in series. Okay, it's a parallel circuit, and now the last thing I'm going to do is create a series parallel circuit. Uh, and I'm just going to connect this here. And I'm going to, uh, I'll just connect this here. There we go. That's fine. And now this should be much dimmer. Okay. And it is dimmer. So we've got a parallel, a series, and a series parallel. Uh, so there's the first three circuits you got to make. Um,
And I believe that is it for the first assignment uh, and to get you through some of the basics of doing a breadboard. And I'll explain more about this in class, uh, but this is a very simple starting tutorial uh, for breadboarding.